Methodist Health Systems is one of those organizations. It's telling staff members they must get the COVID-19 vaccine by December 5th, one day before that federal deadline. And we spoke with three unvaccinated nurses hoping to win a religious exemption to keep their jobs. Now they asked us not to identify them for fear of retribution from their employer and the public. I don't want to lose my job. Why are we being forced to get something that's still, in my opinion, the testing phase? Methodist nurses say their jobs are on the line because they don't want to get the COVID-19 vaccine. We just want more information. We want more studies. We, we want more peer review before we consent. And that's our right. Like other organizations, Methodist Health Systems is following President Biden's requirement that eligible staff at health care facilities participating in the Medicare and Medicaid programs be vaccinated. Methodist Human Resources sent an email that says we are required to ensure all eligible staff receive the first dose or one dose by December 5th. Those who do not meet this deadline will be subject to separation from the organization. I'm just disappointed because um, we shouldn't be forced to do it. They don't force us to get the flu shot. There are two federal exemptions to the mandate, medical reasons and religious beliefs. It's truly a religious exemption for me. This nurse says her Christian beliefs should allow her to keep her job. And another nurse tells me she'll use the religious reason even though she doesn't believe it. How do you use that religious exemption if, if that's not what you believe? I don't know. I think it's just a loophole that they have to jump through. A Methodist spokeswoman sent us this statement. We have no choice but to comply with the recent regulation. We are working with all employees interested in submitting an exemption. Each will be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. The women insist they just want to continue caring for their patients. I would be fired, lose my license, and taken to jail if I gave a drug to a patient against their will. So why is it different when the government or my employer does it to me? Well, the nurses say if they don't get the vaccine, they will be first suspended for 30 days without pay and then not be able to return to work in January. Methodist says over 90% of its health system is fully vaccinated.